In this video, we will show you how to install the Toyota Hiace internal ladder rack system. Be sure the working area is clean and free of dirt and grit. Locate the headliner plugs at the rear of the vehicle. Place masking tape between the two headliner plugs. Locate the headliner plugs at the centre of the vehicle and place masking tape. Mark the centre between the two roof headliner plugs, 310mm from the outside edge of the plugs. Repeat the same steps for centre of the vehicle. Measure 855mm forward from the rear mark made previously. Place a 200mm length of the tape longitudinally on the centre of the roof. Measure 1740mm forward from the rear mark made previously. Place 200mm length of the tape longitudinally on the centre of the roof. Link the two longitudinal reference points to one another with a string line. Extend past the tape and fix in place with tape at either end. Extend these three reference points to be 100mm long. Remove the strings. Place tape at a 90 degree angle centered at the reference made previously from points one and two. The lengths of tape should be a total of 250 millimeters in length. Check template scale is correct, then cut template out and place the templates onto the reference lines as shown. Align the template centre lines with the lines on masking tape and punch through the template to mark the masking tape for four mounting holes in each template. Using a dust mask and safety glasses, drill a 3mm pilot hole through the roof headliner in the centre of all 12 marked holes. Do not drill through the cross brace directly above the headliner. Drill slowly and with caution. Using centre punch and hammer, centre punch the roof through the 12 holes drilled in the previous step. Use a drill stop set to 15mm, drill a 3mm pilot hole through the roof cross brace, situated on all 12 holes drilled previously. Do not drill through the roof panel directly above the cross brace. Drill slowly and with caution. Use a drill stop set to 15mm, drill a 6mm pilot hole. Do not drill through the roof panel directly above the cross brace. Drill slowly and with caution. Drill a 20mm hole saw through the 12 roof headliner holes. Ensure the hole saw pilot drill is maximum 6mm diameter and 10mm deep. Do not drill through the cross brace directly above the headliner. Drill slowly and with caution to avoid damage to the headliner and cross brace. Use a 9mm drill and drill stop set to 10mm. Drill through the cross brace above the 12 holes in the headliner. Do not drill through the roof panel directly above the cross brace. Drill slowly and with caution. Using a deburr tool, deburr all holes. Vacuum all swarf from the vehicle floor after drilling. Insert a rivnut into each 9mm hole drilled and install with appropriate rivnut tool. Ensure rivnut is seated correctly before compressing the rivnut tool. Do not over compress rivnuts. Check the rivnuts are seated correctly within the vehicle. Place the rivnut gauge into the installed rivnut, hooking it over the open end of the rivnut. Slide the depth gauge up to sit on the rivnut. The centre and rear bracket rivnuts align with position 1. Front bracket rivnuts align with position 2. Remove the masking tape from roof of the vehicle. Place the bars and brackets on the table for pre-assembly. 
Insert M8 spring washer and M8 flat washer in M8 button head through the center hole and finger tighten with M8 channel nut. Slide it in on the long bar and measure 14 millimeters from the end. Torque the screw to 12 Newton meters. Insert the center bracket. Measure 888 millimeters from the same end of the bar. Torque the screw to 12 Newton meters. Insert the rear bracket on the small bar. Measure 182.5 millimeters from the end of the bar. Torque the screw to 12 Newton meters. Insert M6 flat washer in M6 by 30 millimeter bolt. Once the bolt is through the bracket, insert a spacer and then finger tighten on the roof. Follow the same step on eight other holes. Torque the screw to eight Newton meters. Insert the joiner and tighten the screw. Join the smaller bar to the longer bar. Follow the same process inserting M6 bolt through the brackets on remaining four holes. Torque the screw to eight Newton meters. Tighten the other side of the joiner to secure in place. Feed the bungee cord from the front rack assembly. Attach the slide blocks. Slide the front rack from the front of the bars. Assemble the rear bracket using M6 by 25 mm socket head cap, M6 by 12.5 mm flat washer, and M6 channel nuts. Measure 30 mm from the end of the bar. Torque the screw to 10 Newton meters. Insert M6 by 12.5 mm flat washer onto M6 by 16 mm button screw followed by end stop and finger tighten with M6 channel nut. Measure 120 millimeters from the end. Torque the screw to 10 Newton meters. Insert the end cap. Insert the bungee cord through the rear of the rack and end cap. Using the table on your instructions, Cut the three lengths of buffer strip to fit the size of the ladder. In this case, we will cut 30 millimeters, 690 millimeters, and 120 millimeters. And insert them on the correct slots. Adjust the bungee cord length to 500 millimeters to fit the size of the ladder. Lock the bungee cord into the V groove on the end of the locking end cap. And you can now insert your ladder as shown. Make sure to lock in the ladder using the red strap. Make sure all fixtures are secure before use. This completes the fitment for HiAce internal ladder rack system.